So what would you want? A celebratory cake. Is everyone ready to make the best cake in the world? Zach, are you? Are you ready? Oh, you're ready to eat everything. Better focus on making the cake instead of eating sweets. Grandma decided to make the best chocolate cake for her granddaughter. Kit Kats are never too much. Decorated with favorite candies, just need to wrap it all up with a ribbon. And it's done. Chef, what do you think? Don't like it? We'll make it better. How beautiful. Look how cool the cream spreads. Stack all the layers on top of each other. Great. Now cut the cake in half. And put it all together? It turned into a beautiful rainbow made of fondant, clouds, and a cute face. Super! Zach, what will you do? Trying to make a tower out of marshmallows? Mmm, such delicious marshmallow ribbons. Yummy. Let's add them right to the cake. A bit of Emma's favorite jellies. And the finishing touch, jelly hearts. Right, the little sister should know that you love her a lot. Amazing. All cakes are ready. Baby, what will you start with? With the rainbow. Mm. Do you like it? Yes. Here are clouds, too. I've never tried clouds. They must be very tasty. Oh. And this is Grandma's chocolate cake. You love chocolate, right? <laughs> oh, there's your favorite Kit Kat, too. Well, awesome. did you like it? And this cake is from your beloved brother. Look how many hearts he put for you. And gummy hearts. Is it tasty? I think the little one really liked it. No? Then what will you choose? Chef's cake. Congratulations on the victory. This time, the baby wants chips. Is everyone ready? Then let's start. Grandma, show Zach how to peel potatoes gently and make chips. He doesn't know how. Actually, it's very easy. Take a vegetable peeler and peel. It's super simple. Then slice it very thinly and send it to the boiling oil. Got it, Zach? Cheesy peasy lemon squeezy. Peel. Slice. Pour oil. Great. Now throw the potatoes in. Oh, no. Attention. Oil attack. Oil attack. Take cover. Grandma, what's, what's wrong? Is everything okay? Hold on. Don't faint. The chef will now show a master class in chips. She doesn't need potatoes. She needs tortillas. Got the tortilla into triangles. Oh, I get it. These won't be just chips, but rather nachos. They're much tastier. That's right. Now we need to prepare guacamole. You need a ripe, soft avocado. Spread the guacamole on the crispy nachos and add tomatoes. Done. Yes. The last step is rosemary. Bless you, Grandma. So where were we? Ah, yes, rosemary, twigs, and lemon. And it's done. Uh, uh, what's that smell? Zach, your chips are burning. It's a nightmare. Nothing is visible because of the black smoke. Oh, uh, it looks like your chips are ruined. They resemble charcoal rather than chips. Okay, serve what you have. Maybe it will work. Maybe everything's ready. Where will you start? What? Yeah, agreed. It's better not to try. You still have a whole plate of chips. That quantity will be enough for all the cartoons. Very tasty. That's enough. Don't get carried away. You still have to try the chef's chips. Oh. Yeah. The chef's prepared such cool chips for you. Hmm, it looks too healthy, right? Yeah, the little one didn't like it. Grandma wins. Emma, what do you want this time? Coco! It's very easy. Not only for the chef, but even for Zach and Grandma. Grandma pours a little milk into the saucepan as Coco simmers it and pours it all into Grandma's cool mug. Perfect Coco in a perfect mug. With a perfect taste. Oh, whoa, whoa, Grandma, no need to taste it. It's for the little one. Right, Chef, don't agree. Better make your own cocoa. It'll be a cocoa bomb. Melt the chocolate, pour it into a round mold, add marshmallows, of course, close the mold, and mix it all thoroughly. This bomb should be served separately from the milk glass. How's that doing? 
Uh, it's always the same with oh, Zach. My. Zach, you're covered in milk. Wipe yourself and continue. Make some cocoa. A bit of milk in the saucepan. Heat it up. Blue food coloring. Interesting. Look, the milk turned sky blue. And now the most important part. Dip the glass into syrup and then into colorful sprinkles. I agree. It's much prettier and tastier that way. Yellow cream and, of course, marshmallows. What a beauty, Zach. Hi. Baby, everything's ready. Let's taste it. Oh. This is cocoa from your beloved brother. Tell us, is it delicious? I think it's very tasty. It seems like the little one liked it. And this one is from beloved grandma, as you can tell by the mug. What? what something's not right? Probably too simple. In this case, you need to put the chocolate bomb in hot milk. And something will happen. Oh, wow. The bomb completely dissolved. Hurry, try it. I believe it's very tasty, right? Well, baby, who wins? The Coco from the brother wins. Zach, you finally won. Well done. And the little one asks for pasta. Is everyone ready? Okay. Well, I don't think there will be any problems with pasta. Zach, what are you doing? These are specially long macaroni. Grandma, explain how to do it right. It's simple. Put them in the pot and wait for them to sink on their own. The main thing is to keep stirring. Grandma's spaghetti's already cooked, and the chef will cook the pasta herself. It's simple. Some flour, an egg, and kneading. Next, you need to color the dough black to make it unusual. Yeah, kneading the dough is quite difficult. Now roll it into a thin pancake and cut it into long, long macaroni. Looks very unusual, right? Now put them in boiling water. We cook an octopus here. That's right. What's pasta without seafood? You can put the octopus right on the pasta. That's excellent. Grandma, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Pasta with ketchup. Zach, what are you doing? Don't do it like that. And Zach's noodles just stuck to the bottom. Do it again. Look how smart you are. Instant noodles? Ready in an instant. Yeah, and you guys are coming out with all sorts of nonsense here. Baby, where will you start? Right, with the octopus. Don't be afraid. It's delicious. What, what? You didn't like it? Then give it to me. I love octopuses. And this is Grandma's regular pasta with ketchup. Grandma remembers well. You love it. Yeah, the little one really liked it. And this is your brother's noodles. Made it on the second attempt, though. Well, how do you like it? What? Too spicy. Well, Zach, I think you won't win. What? what? Zach, she chose you. Congratulations. Look, the teacher is teaching how to make potions, chamomile, and a couple of drops of the secret ingredient. Hey, should be drawn on the board to make it more clear. Enid decided to have a snack when no one's watching. Mmm, I love gummies. And who's this? Okay. Hi, thing. Oh, the teacher's heard something. What? Someone's in trouble. Enid! Wednesday, you've been caught. The teacher is furious. She's about to take away all the snacks. No, not that, please. Oh, man. Oh, girls, I feel for you. Time for the drawing lesson. The task is to draw a skull. Enid, is everything clear? Hey, Wednesday, look what she has. Do you think that's regular paint? It's not. Don't worry. Ian will tell you everything now. Once she was eating jelly and doing homework. She was in such a good mood until she accidentally mixed up the tubes. She took paint instead of jelly and squeezed it right into her mouth. It was horrible, but it gave her a brilliant idea on how to sneak jelly into class. She just poured jelly into a paint tube of the same color. Now no one will guess that she has a snack with her. Ta-da! What do you think? And Wednesday has something too. Don't worry, Enid. As you know, Wednesday's palette consists only of black because she thinks it's the best color. 
But one day, things spilled a jar of cookies on the palette. And then it hit Wednesday. She put Oreos instead of paint to have a snack during the lesson. What do you think of that? Oh, the teacher heard a crunch. Freeze! Don't give yourselves away, girls. It's just paint. They're drawing. Nothing special. No treats. Just brushes and paint. Nothing forbidden for the girls. Okay. Ah, didn't figure it out. We're lucky. And now, math class. Hey, Wednesday. How about this calculator? Think it's nothing special? Take a closer look. It's gummies instead of buttons. Mmm, so cool. Enid ate her favorite marshmallows yesterday and did math homework with it. The task was very tough. And she started thinking and then accidentally dropped the calculator and all the buttons popped out. But Enid figured out what to replace them with. She glued marshmallows and added Skittles and gummies for variety. It turned out to be a fantastic calculator that you can take to class and enjoy snacks. Cool idea, huh? Hey, are you eating an eraser? What's that? <laughs> Enid fell for it, right? Wednesday has a great story, too. She loves eating marshmallows, especially when reading the diary. But someone ruined it with their confessions. She was furious and took an eraser to erase the mess. But it wouldn't erase. It turned out to be just a marshmallow. So Wednesday just stuck a couple of marshmallows instead of the eraser and brought it along. Enjoy your treat. <gasps> the teacher heard someone wishing bon appetit. Attention, danger! Okay. <sighs> she didn't figure it out. Wow, look! Flying bats! Wednesday! This should interest you! But for Wednesday, it's already clear. Look, Enid, how about this bat-shaped eraser? I think it's very tasty. What do you say? <laughs> That's the dope! Wednesday simply glued a gummy bat using corn syrup. And Enid also brought something with her. Think it's glitter? No, it's a new life hack. Well done, Enid. It's hard to bring sweets to biology class, so Enid just took a pen and filled it with fizzy candies. Now she can enjoy them anytime without the teacher noticing. I mean, that's so cool. What? Teacher is suspicious again. She'll definitely expose you now. Nothing forbidden. Just a desk, notebooks, pens. All clear. Now it's music class. Hey, Enid, don't sleep. Wake up. Come on. Think. Wake her up. Stop doozing. What's wrong with you? Try pinching her nose. <laughs> Enid, it's time to have a little coffee. Good thing you have it with you. Hmm, that's great. Enid came up with this brilliant idea yesterday, putting coffee in a pencil holder. Just don't forget the straw. See how awesome it is, Wednesday. Bravo. And Wednesday also has a little secret. She inserted a straw directly into the cola bottle. Amazing. That's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're with you. We're singing along. La, 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 la. Everything's fine, Miss Teacher. Time for geography. Let's see what Enid has on her map. We need to make a couple of measurements. And to make work more fun, let's eat a few chips. Wait, wait. Hmm. This is just brilliant. You can put chips directly into the map tube and carry it to class. <laughs> oh, awesome. Wednesday, look what Enid came up with. Oh, what's that, a crunch? No, nah, you just imagined it. Keep going. Wednesday, what tasty treats do you have? Gummy eyes. Cool. I love them too. Chips, I just adore them. Well done, girls. That's quite inventive. Hey, the teacher heard a crunch. Everything's fine. Everyone's working. No one's eating anything. Now it's time for our favorite geometry class. Hey, Enid. Hey, look what, what Wednesday has. Stretchy gummy candies. And do you know how she came up okay. with bringing them? Yahoo! 
yesterday, Wednesday was decorating her new phone case and decided to cover it with gummy candies. Cool, right? What do you think of such a shoe design? Enid sneakers are now made of candy too! Not bad! As you know, Enid loves everything rainbow colored, so she quickly realized that these candies would perfectly match her new sneakers. Just need to stick them on. No one will even notice! That's hilarious! Enjoy your treats, girls! Oops! The teacher got suspicious again! Alright, girls, you're caught! Surrender the candies into the box! No more sweets in class! I sympathize with you, girls. What are you waiting for? The little one wants to eat. Oh, they're waiting for her to order. In the first round, you'll be making pasta. A huge portion, like this. Enid hasn't cooked it before, but I'm sure she'll do great. Granny, wake up! Your granddaughter wants pasta. So, Grandma is cooking pasta with the classic recipe. She puts spaghetti in the pot and waits for them to boil. Enid, what's wrong? Do you have an allergy? Oh, it's because of the flour. Well, it's good that it's just flour, not something disgusting. Enid needs flour because she wants to cook spaghetti on her own. There we go. Eggs come into play. Wow, you can even juggle? Oh, uh, never mind. You cannot. So, Enid needs the dough. When it's ready, she needs to divide it into small balls. But Enid colors each ball in a specific color. Wow, using a special device, she cuts the dough into colorful noodles. What a beauty. I think it looks really cool. And most importantly, it's genuine. Spaghetti in the form of little flowers. Granny, how are you doing? Grandma remembers well. Granddaughter always loved regular spaghetti with ketchup. So why not give her exactly that? Both satisfying and delicious. Wednesday, it's your turn. As always, thing comes to help. Wednesday doesn't want her pasta to look generic. It's too bright for her. She adds a bit of black color and it makes it just right. Ketchup looks exactly like blood. Wow, look at these jelly eyes. They really complement the dish. Well, little one, are you ready to taste and pick the winner? Where will you start? First, she'll try grandma's classic spaghetti. She has loved it since childhood. Well, what do you say? Delicious and simple. Excellent. Next comes Enid's pasta. It turned out unbelievably beautiful and very cute. A true work of art. Enid even added some extra short pastas, and they look a lot like vampire fangs. Though they're not cooked and dry, so eating them, it's impossible. The little one decides not to even try Enid's pasta. Now it's Wednesday's turn. The presentation is rather unusual. First, the little one tries the eye. Of course, it's jelly. Turns out the little one loves them. Wednesday, how did you know that jelly goes so well with pasta? The little one is thrilled. I want to try it too. Leave me some. I think the winner is obvious. Wednesday cooked the best pasta this time. Despite the efforts of Grandma and Enid, Wednesday is the winner this time. Hey, stop scaring Grandma! Little one, are you ready to give everyone a new task? It will be a cocktail! Can you make it? Enid says yes! Grandma is also on board. And Wednesday's not falling behind. What strange ingredients are these? What are you gonna do? Apparently a cocktail that we'll never forget. Sprite serves as the basis. And what a unique glass shape! Now Wednesday adds a secret ingredient to the Sprite giving it the desired color. Look, Wednesday is sending things somewhere. Oh, now it makes sense to get her wipe cream. Granny, don't offend the assistant. Wipe cream will be poured all over the cocktail and then topped with jelly eyes. Yeah, we know that jelly eyes are Wednesday's favorite sweets. It looks cool and surely tastes great. Some red syrup to finalize the dish. Enid, what are you waiting for? It's time for you to start. Are you starting with jelly candies? First, Enid separates them into colored loops. What's the next step? She layers them in a tall glass. Just look at how beautiful it turns out. Why do you need a fan? Wow, the jelly candies turn into a uniform mass right before our eyes. 
And the final step, white cream. I should agree, it always gives drinks a more presentable look. And of course, color jelly for decoration. Wonderful! Girls, you've made beautiful and tasty cocktails, and Grandma's thinking about her granddaughter's health. She makes a cocktail that will be healthy first and foremost. It will consist of different vegetables that Grandma is trying to stuff into the blender. They just need to be blended and turned into a cocktail. Granny's cocktail is ready. I wonder, what does it smell like? Judging by Enid, it smells disgusting. And Wednesday seems like she wants to escape from this smell, I believe. But it doesn't upset Grandma. She's confident that her granddaughter will appreciate the care for her health. It's time to choose the winner. Little one, go ahead. At first glance, all the cocktails look quite nice. But our girl is wary of this nasty twig. Hopefully, she'll like the cocktail itself. Oh, no. Grandma, the little one says your cocktail isn't drinkable. Next in line is Enid's cocktail. It looks much more delicious. And the white cream, the little one just loves it. Look, she decides to eat it with a spoon. And rightly so, you cannot miss a bit of this delicious white cream. Done with the white cream, it's time to get a straw. What's this? Is the cocktail very solid? Impossible to drink? Why? The melted jellies have solidified again. Ah, yes, drinking this cocktail won't be possible. Wednesday, all hope is on you. Come on, little one, try it. Judging by your reaction, it's delicious. I would happily drink that cocktail too, especially with those appetizing jelly eyes. Look, she just cannot stop. Nice. Don't keep us waiting, little one. Tell us, who is the winner? Amen. <laughs> Wednesday. Congratulations. Little one, what task awaits everyone in this round? So, this time, the little one wants something like... Make her a little salad. A little salad it is. It will be done. You have a salad, little one. And not just okay. one, but three. Granny just harvested lettuce leaves. And they will serve as the base for the salad. Next come cheese and croutons. Looks like I even know the recipe for this Caesar salad. Grandma almost forgot about juicy tomatoes. They will be the decoration and add flavor to the salad. Eat it and Wednesday, how are you doing? Nina came up with a way to make the salad not only tasty but also beautiful. She returns to the flower theme and will create small but very cute flowers from veggies. I think it's a great idea. Looks wonderful. But for Wednesday, flowers are boring. She likes something dark in the salad, like basil leaves. A skull? What's that for? Oh, now it's clear. Wednesday will place other ingredients on the skull. Now she pours ketchup over everything. It looks a lot like blood. And she inserts two jelly eyes. Wow, look, the skull now looks way more interesting. It's time to choose the winner. Don't be scared, little one. It's just cheese and ham. Try it. But the little one finds it too scary to even touch. Let's see if Grandma surprises the little one. First salad really does look like Caesar salad. This is the kind of salad the little one is always ready to eat. She doesn't even want to stop. She's eager to empty the plate quickly. It is truly tasty and healthy. But there are Enid's flower-shaped veggies left. Yeah, they are just veggies. The little one didn't like it. Grandma wins. Enid, don't get distracted. The little one is ready to give a new task. What is it this time? Donuts! Enid is ready for the challenge. Grandma likes them too. Oh, Wednesday has already prepared black paint. For Grandma, the main thing is for the donuts to be delicious. After all, donuts are meant to be eaten, not just looked at. But Ina decided to make something bright again. Each of her donuts will be a different color. At least it will be beautiful. Look, Ina seems very confident in her victory. She's even provoking Wednesday. But she has already done part of the work. It's time for decorations. Of course, they cannot be a donut without red strawberry syrup. It really looks like blood. But that's not all. Watch how using white icing, Wednesday draws a spiderweb pattern. 
It's as if she pulled these donuts out of the spider's nest. What a beauty! Hey, can go far without a reliable assistant. Fang, Wednesday needs Nutella. Come on, bring it here. Don't be afraid. It's not an evil hand. It's Fang carrying Nutella. Look how cool. Wednesday pours Nutella into molds and makes chocolate bats. It turned out to be a real work of art. And here are Grandma's donuts ready. But she doesn't want to decorate them too much. She sprinkles them with powdered sugar. Everyone loves powdered sugar. Hopefully the little one will be satisfied too. Peanut's colorful donuts are also ready. They're so beautiful. You can't even take photos with them now. How cool is that? But is that all? Hey, take care of your teeth, Enid. <laughs> Every child dreams of covering their tongue in sweet sprinkles. How beautiful. Colorful donuts with vibrant sprinkles. Make your choice, little one. Yeah, don't be surprised. Wednesday did something unusual again. Even the bats looks delicious. Well, tell us, is it good? Okay. The little one decides it's not bad. But apparently she expected more. And how about grandma's donuts? Awesome. Yeah, it will be much more convenient to eat them stacked on each other. <laughs> well, is it sweet? Is it good? The little one decides that these are just regular donuts. Let's see what she says about Enid's donuts. They most resemble the ones our little one loves so much. Apparently, it's unbelievably delicious. Enid, it's clear. Your donuts are the best.